Welcome to this Thunkable Foundations tutorial where we're going to be learning all about the checkbox. Our agenda for today is to um, learn about the different events and the different uh, getters and setters as well as including a few examples where relevant. So there's three events that you can use with the checkbox. There's the changed, there's got focus, and there's lost focus. Changed obviously happens when the user checks or unchecks the box, that's a change. Got focus is when they click on the checkbox, and lost focus would be when they click on something else, so when that checkbox loses focus. It's no longer the center of attention, essentially. Um, so in terms of setters and getters, I've broken them down into a couple of different categories. So first thing we're going to look at are the, the booleans, the ones that return true or false, if we use the getters, or the ones that we need logic values, logic inputs. So true or false uh, for the setters. We can have it checked, um, which means it is or it isn't checked. We can have it enabled, which means it's checkable or not checkable, uh, or it's visible. So that means we can see it or not see it. Uh, these are <clears throat> all doing slightly different things. So in the first example here, I've got a button that says toggle on it. And um, we'll take a look at that in a second. And if it's checked, uh, then we swap it, we set it to false. And if it's not checked, we swap it back, we set it to true. So let's have a quick look at this in action. This is how it would work on your app. So if you were to put in that code, that's what it would do. The next Boolean then we want to have a look at is the enabled uh, property. So if it's enabled, uh, set it to false. If it's not enabled, set it to true. And again, it's the same kind of thing here. So we can change the enabled property, but what this does then is it makes it checkable or uncheckable. So you can see that clicking on here will do, will do nothing. The final thing then that we want to do is uh, show or hide the checkbox. And we can do that using the visible Boolean. So if it's visible, set it to invisible. If it's invisible, set it back to visible. This is what it looks like in action then. So essentially you're just showing and hiding the entire component from the user. The next category of components then that I've um, looked at, or setters and getters that we're gonna look at, are the color components. There's three of these here. We've got background color, outline color, and text color. So there's a whole bunch of different ways of creating your own colors in Thunkable, but uh, I'm just going to go and create some random ones here, for example. Um, so when I'm previewing this on the next one, what I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to be shaking my phone uh, and it's going to change the different colors here. So to illustrate the background color, this is what it looks like here. Essentially, uh, every, you can see the colors changing there. Um, it's the background color of the entire component. So behind the text and the little checkbox itself. What about if you want to change the color of the text box? The property you need then is the outline color. So this is uh, changing to a new random uh, outline color. And this is what it would look like on a phone if we were to test it out. What we want to do here is um, change the outline color. You can see the outline itself doesn't get any bigger or smaller as we change the font size, but we are able to change the outline color. Next thing then that we're going to look at, and the last thing in this section, is the text color. So the letters um, themselves are kind of the label for your checkbox, if you want to think of it that way. But we can change those to different colors as well. So this is what it looks like in action. Again, I'm using, uh, I'm just shaking the phone here to change the, the colors of the text. But you can do this with a button, you could do it with the checkbox itself. Totally up to you. Um, now, the final thing then, a um, couple of things that we want to look at are the uh, change in the height. So again, you can put in um, numeric values here for height and width or height percent and width percent. And for our getters, these two blocks return numbers. So they'll tell you how tall or how wide your checkbox, that's the entire component. So think of it like the background color that shows you how high or how wide the checkbox is. And the final ones here we have are for setting the text and styling the text. So I've kind of categorized these here as our typography. We can change the font size, we can make it um, taller, smaller, we can change the text itself. So rather than saying text box one, make it say something a little bit more useful. And the final thing here uh, is there's a, a setter here that allows us to change between different font faces or typefaces. So that's all there is to this quick overview of the checkbox. Really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget it don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe if you want to see more in-depth reviews of the components like this.